something doesn't look right go live okay all right now i know we are live so the mega server has started let me quickly move my window over here okay that should do it cool rings of power kings of man with yutz hey everyone it's me it's your boy ezra i'm back again I was away for quite some time and the fellowship slash warband Yutz took me back and I, I'm really grateful for that. Thank you guys. It's it's great being back and immediately being surrounded by you all. Thanks all for that awesome community. Now a lot of changes have happened in the game. Among those changes, oh no, server maintenance? Loading. Okay, it's loading. And among those changes, the, the most interesting two, I think, are Tactical Force and the new marching system. Which is why I am here and I want to test it out, experience it firsthand, so I am capable of telling you guys, is it any good or not? Hmm, do we have some little graphical updates? Like the user interface definitely changed. I think I had a break of three months and some stuff changed. I can immediately tell. But first things first, we of course need to start building. Yeah, the building is at least the same. All right, I'm playing Evil Side. I was playing roleplay a lot. And having said so, I always like to focus on that respective unit, right? Evil Side needs to have evil units. But now we are in a non-roleplaying environment. I'm not used to that yet. I assume people who are non roleplay experts will tell me to probably go with cataphracts hey man those units are very tanky you should definitely rock those but my inner role-playing dude says go with war chariot There's a lot of building at the start. But guys, how are you experiencing 2.0 so far? Is it any good? Not to your liking? What would you like being improved upon? Let's grab. Give me, give me conscript sheet. Barracks is full. Okay. Maybe we should go to our formation system. I'm dying. You are my main tank. Which king right after you? Uh, Shadow will be your flank. Increase. Oh. Alright. Yeah, you need to upgrade the barracks for that. How could I forget something this important? You see, like, it's already a new game for me. Like, I already forgot so many things. Even the barrack system. Kinda annoying that you have to wait here to take the next improvement wouldn't it be great construction queue yeah like to have a longer queue available after one order is finished the next order will be naturally taken okay um Estaro. 
Taro and Shadow are my best damage dealers. Maybe get them leveled up first. But we need a tank. The tank could be the Undying. Let's do it like this. Undying is my tank. And Shadow is my damage dealer. I like the Shadow. Okay, we can work with that. I haven't been buying the, the season passes since the 2.0 update is live. So I'm falling behind Commander Respect and gear in general. Um, okay, okay, okay. Build. Four. Main hall. Conscription level four, okay. So, now to the new marching. Do I still need to connect to a tile before I can attack it? Oh yeah, respect and items. Let's see. Undying. Unlocks when commander reaches level 20. Okay. Grand swell at formation has a chance to evade. Okay. Let's have Undertaker already active. At least one point into a weapon mastery to get some damage. For the first three rounds. Grants to allied formation with chance. It's only for four hits. I prefer Undertaker being maxed out. AoE damage, right? It, it is hitting a lot of formations. And it's AoE damage. Everybody, two enemy formations, three enemy formations, get hit. Cool. Um, Shape of the Void, was it? Yeah. Normal attacks, deal physical damage. Okay, max out R5. Beautiful. Hunting Expert. First go Undertaker. AoE is the king. So we have two Undertakers. Undying and the Shadow. Upgrade. Okay, Stone. There was this trick with the ability points gather stone do we still have that available gosh so many things in the user interface are different now i am not used to it okay the ring uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. got it So these little animals are indicating grain now. Before 2.0, we had tiles with grain, which was indicating food. Now it's all about animals. Damn, I'm 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 still not used to it. Level four, so this is something I can definitely tackle. Um, March. But we don't want to waste that stamina, so we need another marching formation. Hey, marching formation. Who shall we put in this group? Good old Kamul being the pather. Kamul always got a right. Occupy. Occupy? 
That that's new to me, uh, guys in the chat. Oh wait a second, Arsenal, you love the Shadow like me? Yeah, man, Shadow is amazing. Does Shadow Undertaker work with Undying? Why shouldn't it? It's like two different guys dealing AOE damage. Whoever is fir first, like with more speed, gets to hit first with his Undertaker, then the other guy gets to hit with Undertaker. Or did they change something? Why should they? It's, it's just an AOE attack. Uh, there shouldn't be any restrictions. You must complete this task on March. No, I just want to march. Gosh, the marching is so slow. I thought we had the 24 hour bonus. Max, uh, when your army. So they changed that too? We are no longer moving fast at the start? Why? Th that was so great. Oh, I. I get it now. Hmm. I think because a lot of people complained that if you can't participate in the first 24 hours, you're falling back a lot. And this may be one of their ways of handling this issue. But I... I kinda enjoyed it. I loved being rewarded for just uh, being there. That was... that was the point, right? You were rewarded for being there in the first 24 hours. Oh, so I no longer occupy a tile when I march on it? Oh, I, I, oh now I, I think I understand. So occupy is now the new tile conquering mechanic. Okay, lesson learned. That was news to me. So I can now make my my commander march just regularly, right? Like this. Hey, move over there even though we have no tile connection. Okay, this is something I can subscribe to. I like that change. That's that's kind of cool. It's giving us more freedom. We can play more freely. Cool. And of course, there is some event going on here. Uh, yeah, new loot. It's an easy event, not really hard. You can catch some fish. You can do a little puzzle. And I like that puzzle. It's not really hard. But it's getting the job done. All right, Undying, can we also reinforce? Any changes? Heal commanders. It cost us nothing? Okay, I guess because of the 24 hour buff. Oh, right. Uh, we aren't upgrading our buildings. Oops. Oops. Grain and barrack. Grain. Or and main hall. But we like the stone. Right. We had an issue with stone. So something happened in the building development as well. Now we like stone so much faster? Or is it just because I didn't finish the chapter? Probably that. Yeah, probably that. Barracks, main hall, lumber. Continue getting more grain tiles. Not march. No, 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 no. Occupy. That's the that's the new cool thing. Only the cool kids do it like this. Tile searching. Yes, we have a level up. Reinforce. Hmm. 
we may have a level up, but not enough skill points. Okay, free mephim. Oh, right, the daily free mephim pool. There was something, right? Does it still exist? And if yes, only for the standard Mephim chest or also the other special ones? Did they change something for the free pool? No, they didn't. Ooh, it's the Baron chest. Actually, I would like to have that. 58 Mephim coin. Shall I wait until I collect 100 and then make a video out of it? Wait, wait, don't march. Occupy. And some special offer. Like, I think this deal is still decent. You get to boost your Aragorn for just this amount of money. I, I think that is actually good. T2 Aragorn, solid enough. But, I, on my evil side account, I would like to stay with my evil side commanders. I, I don't want to mix it up with good side commanders. Even though I am on a non-RP server, I, in my heart, I am still a role-playing guy. Three? Why does it say three? F3? Three? I thought. Oh, we still didn't pull. Okay. One. Two. Nothing. Is it because of our wish list? No, the wish list is okay. We want respect for Starro Undying. How about. Also including Sauron. Why isn't Sauron here? Yeah, please. Skullhelm would be lovely too. But I lack a lot of respect on her. So I'm I'm very behind with respect for Skullhelm. Does it make any sense? trying to catch up at this stage. I mean, I already have Kestaro as my focus damage dealer. I'm gonna have deep thoughts about it later. I need to catch up with all the new stuff. Next one. Mm -hmm. can, can we march over here? Is it possible? Is it possible? And I? Please tell me it's possible. What? You can actually do that? No longer a connection is needed? Oh. My mind is blown right now. You can do that? And what else? Like, what is the radius for this? Is it infinite? Can I just move all the way up over here to, let's say, Rivendell and just occupy a tile there? There should be a limit to it, right? Right? Like a radius? Oh, hey, fellow. How's it going, man? Nice to see you. As you see, I am discovering stuff that I missed while I was gone. Um, this is probably something very normal to you guys who have been playing 2.0. But me coming back, it kind of feels like a different game. But I'm, I'm gonna be open-minded. I'm not gonna go too hard with 2.0 now. I hope I can find another way of loving Rise to War. This is my hope right now. Uh, you can march, but only match outside your range. Uh, ah, oh. Okay. But you can only occupy within your range. 
That that sounds logical, right? Or else it would be just chaos. Unstoppable conquest. Uh huh. Oh, all right, fellowship. Awaken power, people. People. And here I am forgetting about my buildings once more. We are neglecting building a lot. More tribute. Rain. And while we are here, why not get the fellowship hall? Next one is grain we need, right? For the was it conscription? Yeah. And all for the Barrack. Hey people, I see Inferno joined and uh, Javo as well. You wish me luck. Thanks, man. I I wish us all lots of luck, lots of success. And yeah, it's a mega server. Did I mention that? It is a mega server. Lots of strong fellowship guilds, warbands whatever you want to call them, have gathered on this server and we're going to have a birthday blowout party in a Lotro way. Such, such a comeback, man. So many good people on this server and I need to catch up with all the knowledge. I'm a little rusty, I gotta admit it. Let me read the chat a bit. Am, am I slow? Like, do you mean in regards to my playstyle, or do you mean like the stream is lagging? What is it? Undead commander for the evade? Or mm, it's stun chance. I like the stun chance. Four instances of evade. Or stun. Um, uh, I want to try the stun. Level should be level seven, right? We're having a slow start. I gotta admit. needed mm. okay why I'm why am I just attacking this Ring power 10 tiles. Aren't we ready for something bigger like 12? No, 12 is too hard. We're only level 7, so anything like like this. 
Yeah, let's try it out. Guys, whoever is playing non-RP, I have nothing but evil side commanders. Would you recommend me developing the good side troops for my formations? Or does it make much more sense to go with evil side commanders? Is there any penalty for doing so? Like I remember there was something that you do 10% less damage or something like that or have they changed that as well Come on, why is it lagging, man? Is it just me or has become or or does the Nox player has become more laggy with 2.0? No more penalty, okay. Uh same here, mate. Can't wait for the Balrog. Oh yeah, the new commander who was announced. Our clan haven't fully decided our curse yet for the season, still in backhand. You just know he's going to have two healing trees or something though. Oh, the Balrog is going to heal? I didn't know about that. The healing Balrog? Shouldn't he be nothing but about devastation? Because fire, fire is a destructive force. But at least in regards to fantasy, I can't understand why healing makes sense with a bell rock. The game itself has become more laggy. Alright, so that means it's not just me. So you guys ex are experiencing this as well. LD player seems to be the only player which seems to work correctly now. Oh, that was just a joke with the Balrog. Thank god. The healing Balrog. That just doesn't fit the image. Shouldn't I be able to increase my formation number now? Like three commanders instead of uh, just just two? Let's check. Uh huh. Increases maximum army limit. Is this the one upgrade that we are referring? Increases the number of formations in your army. To increases the maximum army limit three. So that. Basically means we can have three commanders. That's Do I have to send you back? We call this army and let them return. Yeah. Also, it is not going straight straight forward. 
to the settlement. It's going the way it came. Mm. But why? I hope that the Balrog is going to be all about fire damage. That would make sense. A fire damage dealing commander. Don't make him a troop boosting commander. He needs to deal the damage by himself. And I guess people with a 1.0 superior Horburg and fire protection can call themselves lucky if the Balrog commander ends up being a fire damage dealing commander. Did you guys keep your Horbergs with fire, fire protection? I'm not sure I did. Finally, one more commander. Uh, who shall it be? Troop damage is kinda gaga right now, right? It's still not buffed enough. I could put my Witch King here and have the additional troop damage. But does that make less sense? Because I have Kestaro and Kestaro deals high focus damage. So this is the question. Would it make more sense to have the Witch King here and uh, just giving us follow up on all our evil men? Or is commander damage much more superior. I assume that commander damage is the way to go. So I'm gonna stick to that approach. Army. So the Witch King will be my last addition to this formation. Now we also need to skill Kestaro. Lord of the West, focus damage to two formation. Spellseeker. The Lord of the West is being used on every round, while Spellseeker is being active every other round. I'm gonna do it like this. I also need to consider the, what was it? The spell order, right? Chance to do the same amount of focus damage. Focus damage dealt plus three. So. I first want to buff my damage by having this selected first. Do we have another buff like that? Evoker is just healing as far as I remember. Okay, so I want to have this active first to get the focus damage. Then, for the first two rounds, let's go. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Focus damage. Seeker, even more focus damage. So the most important spell order is Lord of the West needs to go in first. I can have one point into Spell Seeker, one point into Nazgul, and I already have a good order with damage. Now, I want to max out R5 first to get all of this benefit. Soon we will get that too. Okay, the Staro is ready. Next target. Um, are we strong enough to get the to get these tiles? Should I risk it? A level twelve tile. Hmm. I'm not feeling it. Oh, we got the range even for this. Great. What about stamina? Stamina.
better to run ring wraith on all your comps you can hit it hard and you keep more troops alive oh yeah that, that makes sense right burst damaged at the start killing as fast as possible i see where this is coming from at least in the leveling phase right okay i agree and it even has a stun chance stun means we don't take damage thank you for that tip inferno i agree i may have screwed up the skill order right now uh actually i needed to go lord of the west for that yeah. one point lord of the west then nuzzle let's here's here is another question should i go with a free formation versus a level 13 at level 12 tile or should i use my witch king and kestaro as my second formation and continue getting low level tiles like split my team into two undying moves with shadow kestaro moves with witch, witch king is that split approach better for the economy or just have my strongest commanders in that one formation right now i could have three strong commanders here i'm using undying shadow kestaro here right now but kestaro has 280 stamina so after these guys are depleted undying and shadow i'm gonna send him back and pair him up with the witch king so we can continue smashing With the way stamina now works, best to try to jump up ASAP. What exactly do you mean, jumping up, Inferno? Do you mean I should just quickly approach a higher level tile? Once more, I neglected, neglected upgrading. 10 minutes there. What about here? You can farm easy enough with all other comps to make sure to keep production high. As in, hit the highest power tiles you can. You think... Now let me ask you some. Do you think I am ready for level 12 tile with my level 8 comps? run out of time. let's not forget about the Nazgul skill. Do we have it available for the other comp? I think not. Hunting expert, right? Undying should have the same skill as well. Weapon master. Okay. This is burst damage in the first rounds. It's for well, the first round it's physical animations and it also has a stun chance. How about this? We are all about burst damage in our leveling phase, right? Inferno, I think you're gonna like this. Maxing out the burst first. Yeah. Shadow, I mean, you pretty much are already bursty in the first six rounds. So I am proud of you. Yeah. I think the shadow is good to go like this.
So I probably shouldn't just let Kamul stand here. I should probably let him move to our fellowship objectives to build forts, right? Because tiling no longer needed as far as I can see. That, wow, like, can we just take some time to, to digest this? Tiling is no longer needed. That is changing a lot. Oh, damn, that, that is so relaxing. Okay, okay. Now, level 40 tile. No, that is too high. Maybe try out the level 12 one just to see what happens. Are we strong enough to take it with our burst damage? We are kind of similar in power. Well matched. Okay, let's see. Okay, so once my Witch King is ready to join the squad, how do I want him? Do I want him in a commander damagey way, bursty, just following up on Kestauros and Undying's burst? Or shall we say, hey, we have four formations with evil man units, let's, let's burst that damage. Another question from me to you, the community. In the 2.0 environment, right now would it make more sense to boost your burst damage for your troops or just go all in with commander burst damage nazgul i do have focus gear on him but i also have command on him so he has potential of dealing more troop damage but don't forget, he has enough focus. He could be dealing lots of focus damage with um, his R3, Nazgul. I gotta test it. Commander damage for the win, yeah? Inferno, that's, that's the way to go. Commander damage all the way. All right then, burst damage. I would like to have Lord of Nazgul at level 5 to have the stun chance because this is what I think the new Witch King does. High focus damage, not as high as Kestara and Skullhelm, but it's, it's still decent. On top of it, the 2.0 Witch King, like, like, let's summarize. Decent elemental damage, followed by amazing CC. He has two skills to provide CC, stun. He is the king of stun, basically, with top R0 and R3. On top of that, the third strength is his strong debuff. And with strong debuff, he is kinder a supporter for Sauron, right? He wants to make the enemy commander slower. Wait, 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 wait. Where was it? Attack focus and defense of the enemy commander. No, that's not it. And the commander's formation is comprised of Felbys, the initiative of two enemy commanders. That's the one I'm referring to. So since Sauron isn't really the fastest commander and he kind of needs to be fast to make his skill sets work, like the madness procs, the debuffs, stealing white council, etc, etc. You want to support your Sauron with the Witch King's initiative minus skill for the enemy commander. So, level 5 for Nazgul. What was this? Maxed out R5 to fully support your Sauron. And then max out Nazgul. And whatever leftover points I have, I would go back to Lot of Nazgul. So th this is my first thoughts, being, being a guy who had a long break from 2.0. All right, Inferno says, I like Witch King with commander damage. Nazgul is one of the few skills which hits consistently as the Witch King tends to be faster than Gandalf. So he hits full damage as it happens, pre-battle before White Council is applied. 
wait a second uh, wasn't white council a buff and buffs were always applied before the battle starts that was at least the logic back then Nazgul. But at least for the leveling phase, I am happy with Nazgul. And we already hit the target. Oh, that is some losses. But I'm gonna continue like this. We are leveling faster. Let's activate Spellseeker. Now we have the skill order here. Oh, Samuel, long time no see, man. Good to see you too, buddy. What do I think about the game so far? So what I already like is the new tiling system. Um, not having to tile to the tiles you would like to occupy is a great thing. I love that one. But in regards to PVP, I got a C, man. Um, I'm no one to talk right now. I was missing a lot of stuff. What I do right now is nothing but brainstorming, theory crafting, and then in, in combat we have to see if it works out or not. Wait until you get to see what Sauron can do pre-battle. Oh, you mean like the, the madness procs and the debuffs he is applying? Are you referring to that? Upgrade your ring. Any changes to the ring system here? What's this? Um, boosting their stamina. Oh. Boosting stamina. That is new. Extract. So I know in the past I always used extract. I want to have that. Acquire an immediate supply of resources. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. No. Definitely not. Invigoration. This ability can be applied to commands to boost the stamina by 20. Now, do you mean you're going to boost the stamina permanently? Or just for a time period? I assume it's a time period or else it would be broken. <sighs> no, not right now. Uh... At level 10, okay. Level 50. That leaves me with invigoration. Alright, Inferno. You're gonna start your alt right now, Angma. Alright, take care, buddy. Thanks for being here. Uh, invigoration is actually not worth it. You need 40 ability points to give 20 stamina to your four commanders. Yeah, I mean, we do have the reset, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Or, or can't we extract the point with the reset? Not possible from invigoration? Oh, no! So we can't extract it. I like how you guys are helping me catching up to the new mechanic. Like, the more you talk, the better for me. I have missed out a lot of stuff. And this community is helping a lot in catching up. Next upgrade, what shall it be?
So our losses are okay, right? We can accept this. Yeah, that's that's okay. So we are capable of getting the level 12 tiles. What about the level next one? 40. Should we try level 15? Invigoration is only for a time period. Yeah, that makes sense. We got the confirmation. Rise to war, who you chose as a starter theme. Yeah, I mean, I gotta work with what I have, right? And the only guys at high respect level, at mythic level, is my Undying, Shadow, Estaro, and Witch King. So, they will be my main formation. And my second formation will probably be Sauron. Man, I, I wish I had enough initiative on my Sauron to support my my team over here. What I would actually like to do in the long term is I'm gonna replace my Kestaro with um, with Sauron, so I will have Witch King Sauron Shadow Undying as my main formation. Undying because I need a tank, Witch King because well. Decent focus damage, not as much as Kestaro, but he has lots of CC. And I think this makes him superior to Kestaro. The stun is amazing. The debuffs of Witch King is amazing. So these three points alone, I think, make him more valuable than Kestaro. While dealing elemental damage, he is debuffing and stunning. So my damage will come from my shadow. And a bit from my undying and also from the elemental damage of witch king and then full support from sauron but i haven't unleashed my sauron yet and it is bugging me it, it's infuriating me i lack the gear like if i had enough el elven hammers to undo all these things i think i could give that formation another chance and this is where i am right now I need enough of um, Elven Craftman's hammer to give myself another reset. I will need, well, four commanders, four items on each commander. That means I need 16 Elven hammers. 16. I will check the items any soon. Just continue getting some piles. Next one. We set ring power 40 right ring power 40 let's try i'm not a fan of reinforcement armies able to be engaged myself and an ally both reinforced and our armies took the same route they destroyed each other nothing we could do oh so you just imploded they just vanished if one reinforcement is crossing the path of another reinforcement right so you you get to cross each other eventually that just makes them implode they're just vanished okay yeah that that doesn't sound right that should be fixed let me conscript some more units let's go with mounted units because they are superior, right? Me being medium sized. Are they though? Yeah, they are medium sized. All right. I really wonder strong enough or not strong enough.
By the way, Ombra, what is your main formation right now? And why did you decide to go with that formation? They battled each other like a normal attack, but we couldn't withdraw on anything. They just drew out until one of us lost all our troops. But we both basically lost everything. So that's a new system, eh? I think that... Yeah, we are totally ready to take these tiles. Chapter... Lumber upgrade? Yeah. Done. Oh, somebody was quick with helping. Ooh. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on. One more. One more. Thank you, Vanilla. Next target. So, which resource do we need the most right now? Of course, it's stone, right? Stone. We always run short on stone eventually, at least at the start. Nazgul is being maxed out, now Lord of the West. Yeah. Uh, damn, this, this works. Like the, the, the burst damage approach with the Nazgul skill, that, that really works. Cool. Man, it really feels great being back to the game. Like, I, I was feeling something was missing when I stopped playing. There was this feeling of, man, I I kind of lost a piece of myself. Sauron, Shadow Lords, Kestaro, Witch King, Undying, Axe of Saruman. That's your set. Okay, so first formation, Sauron, Shadow Lords, Kestaro. Yeah, I know I know what you mean with uh, having two teams which share the same item logic. I did the same with my second formation. Sauron will Hey, wait, what what was it? Uh, 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 uh. So Shadow is passing all of these items to Lords. That's my second formation. And Dying is going to pass my gear. I think it was to to Khaldun because I don't have anything else. The rest of my damage dealers unfortunately aren't high enough. Like I saw some potential in Lafar. He has damage. He has burst damage. Oh, even that. Next instance of damage dealt by two ally formation. Oh no. So two damage dealing skills. Was that making him superior than Khaldun? Let's check his skills. Experience for you. It's a debuff, Spear Dancer. I gotta calculate the damage. Melee units in 3 allied formations have a 60% chance to reduce the damage received. 10%. Oh, it's Axog. Axok is a new kid in the school, okay. Pursuer, yeah, that's that's higher damage. Another damaging skill. Another damaging skill. And even more damage, yeah, that speaks for itself. Four damaging skills, that guy makes much more sense than Kaldun. So yeah, he should definitely be in my second squad. Ah. <sighs> 
Khaldun, you have served your purpose, but now you no longer are cool. The good old days where you had the gigantic hammer with Francie are gone. Kinda sad, but we gotta move on. And I promised myself that I'm gonna take a chill instead of being all nostalgic about the past. I gotta let go of the old way of playing, like forget all the knowledge we had in 1.0. I need to stop being a grandpa, a grumpy grandpa, who's talking about nothing but the World War II he was participating in. No, that, that time is gone. We are now in a startup environment, startups being developed on a daily basis. Okay. Commander level up. Thank you. Sauron. Okay, okay, let's see. Enemy, strong debuff. Lovely. Gothar. Stun. Lovely. And focus damage being increased. Deceiver. Another debuff. Ooh, and it also has madness. Also lovely. Okay. We definitely want the stun chance. So one point needs to go in here. And also, you have enough skill points. You definitely want this to be your first skill since it is also boosting focus damage. You can then follow up with the Deceiver. Just, what is, no. But where is the other damage dealing skill? A lot of gifts, right? Chance to inflict that. And it has a chance to inflict madness. So it, th that would be the skill order I would be respecting. Go for because of the focus damage. Buff. Lot of gifts. It's dealing focus damage, so it benefits from the Gothor buff later if you have that high respect. Lot of gifts, one point. But this is just a CC so far. Now, the main mechanic. Uh, we wanna. Before battle begins, has a chance to inflict madness. Before the battle. No, that is quite something. Damage received by targets affected by madness plus 5%. Oh, oh, I see. I see. So, let's cast this madness later. So the, the skill order should be Gothor, Deceiver, and then Lord of Gifts. Because the Deceiver... As this buff. Okay. Lord Thor. Siva. Lord of Gift. Uh, could you show the leaderboards when you have time? I will do so in a second. Just let me finish the Sauron skill distribution. The enemy. Yeah. This would be my skill order. Offer, Deceiver, a lot of gifts. Now, what I want to have is the Madness Prox. And of course the stat, right? Damage received by three enemy formations. This is money. It needs to be at level 5. We aren't in a rush of pushing a lot of gifts. For the time being, we already got the best value with uh, the 30% Madness proc. Gothor. Mm, keen eye. Okay, it's just another term for pursuit. 
Do we really need Pursuit against Gil Galad? I mean, Evade isn't being really meta right now. No. Not as much as 1.0. No, I think it would make more sense to go the way with the debuffs. Immune to stun. Attack defense focus of three enemy commanders minus. So that's the question. Do I now want to commit fully into maxing out the enemy or continue maxing out the deceiver? That's my question. So th that is the question. It's also kind of depending on what the enemy is throwing against me. Is he playing a Witch King and I want to be immune against the stun? Then probably going to level 5 with enemy would make more sense. But the level 10 boost is also crazy for the R5. Four formations, enemy formations, will be affected by the enemy. Damage received by Skirmish. So this would boost my burst damage, right? Because right now Undying has his R3 maxed out. Shadow is dealing burst damage for the first six rounds. And Kestaro as well. In my leveling phase, it would be lovely to have my damage boosted with the Deceiver. But as soon as I PvP, I don't want to give Dine and Bayorn lots of strength. I want to deny them that power with the enemy debuff. Yeah. That's what I would do. PvE with the Deceiver. PvP with the enemy. So, right now, let's go Deceiver. Ah. Next one. Need more stone. Out of stamina. All right, we have reached that point where I need to send back my main formation and let my Kestaro meet up with the Witch King. I will jump to the leaderboard in a second. Please bear with me. But first, I gotta maybe upgrade some buildings. Building. Guys, what would make more sense? Unlocking cataphracts since mounted units and they are very tanky. Or. What with dragoons? Damage received from enemy. No. Since there is no penalty, I should be going with uh, cataphracts, right? At least in the leveling phase, until I have other units. I promised leaderboard. Now let's see, where can I find the leaderboard again? Uh, leaderboard. Was it here? No. That's just my settlement leaderboard. Uh, mm, no, that doesn't look like it. Boards. Where are you hiding? Left arrow from items. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that's the leaderboard. We have Aris 
being number one. Let's see. Why aren't the names of the fellowships, warbands being also written here? Fellowship production. And as I see, we have a bug, like a little image bug. It's not being displayed correctly. I'm using the Nox player. And I don't know why this is happening because certainly it works with other ones. Why it doesn't work with this? My second squad needs to be active now. Uh, 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 Kistaro, you still have a lot of stamina that needs to be spent. How about I just remove you? Wait, wait, click on you. And where's the remove button? What has happened with the UI? Expand. Do I have to disband the whole formation? Would you like to disband the Undying Army? No. I just wanna... I just wanna... Come on. Why can't I just remove him? <sighs> I guess it's disbanding the full formation then. Band? No, let, let, let him stay. Oh. Witch King. Not unit. Staro. Good. Now, unit. Not enough mounted units, I can't sustain that, so let's go with Spearman. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one. Um, another one. We said that Exog for my second formation. Let's get my second formation guys in here as well. Sauron, baby. There you go. There we go. Yeah, fellow, that's exactly what I've been doing. I can just swap my gear to my second formation. My second formation is Lords, Sauron, Agzok. And I think it was Saruman. That's also something I was thinking of. Just passing my gear over to my second formation. So since Kestaro has my focus damage dealing gear. I can just give that to the next best focus damage dealer. Could be Saruman. Focus damage. Focus damage. And... Gosh, my skull helm. Hmm. Not high enough respect, right? That's the problem. I wish I had her at respect 5. She would be... Such a good replacement for the Kestaro gear. Lords is gonna receive my shadow gear. He will love it. it. Just makes completely sense. Undying will pass on his gear to my Exoc. That leaves me with Witch King gear. I will probably give this gear 
Everything has focus. But not just that. The helm is the only gear piece that's not containing focus. This is a pity. But I need Elven Craftsman's Hammer to undo a lot of mistakes with my gear. But for the time being, Witch King will pass on his gear to Sauron. And Kestaro will give his gear to Saruman. He benefits more from elemental damage. More focus to boost his focus damage. Sauron will be my debuffer, will be my CC guy. Now, now that is the question. If I was to give my high focus gear to Sauron, he would also benefit by the Siva being boosted. Also, yeah, that's the question. Does it make sense to have Sauron receive all of my high focus gear just to have more value for the Siva? And unfortunately, I I won't be having enough points to max out or spend more points to his focus damage dealing skills. Which is why I was thinking it's a better idea to give the focus gear to Saruman. Oh, oh two steps. Welcome, buddy. It's good to have you here. Okay, okay. Enough talk. It's time to level my second formation. Samuel, that's a good statement. From what I have seen, the Deceiver scales bad with focus, so people use command gear on Sauron with agility set. Thanks, man. That makes sense. Yeah. That information is exactly what I was looking for. So, my focus gear goes to Saruman. We are strong enough. We can take something harder. We can take... Let's try... Level 30 type. We have a level up. Not yet. Man, I'm glad that I at least got my Saruman to respect 5. Because when 2.0 dropped, I saw great potential in this guy. Like overall... He has great skills. He has elemental damage, strong elemental damage, accompanied by a decent amount of CC, like it is reliable, a 50% chance. And attack and defense of all Kurka evil man units. He can boost his units, but he needs the command stat for it. But what I like about him the most truly is the high focus damage paired with Madness CC. This is what Sauron is basically. Focus damage and Madness CC. So I would definitely have an eye on these three skills. Okay, so first... Oh boy, I thought we would one-shot this, but it doesn't look like it. Next upgrade, we want to unlock Cataphrax, right? I kind of feel uncomfortable playing good side units with my evil side commanders. The the role playing nerd inside me is fighting against the system right now. Oh, 
I like gear. Yeah, let's give him gear. Wait a second. I I forgot to pass over my gear. The Witch King is okay. But let's give my Sauron a Staros gear. For the time being. Oh no 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 wait a second. Witch King. Witch King is the cool kid. He needs to get the obsidian dagger. Yeah, my Witch King is being played as a focus damage dealer right now. Where is the focus? There it is. Then, okay, so this is the focus gear. I was talking to one of my leaders and he said that there is three approaches of playing the Witch King. The first one is a hybrid build. The second one is a tank build and a focus build. And I gotta dig in, see what this guy is capable of. In which formation, which build makes more sense. But for me, I am using the focus build right now. Nothing but damage. Okay, Sauron. You get the leftover gear from the Witch King. Here, you get some command. And leftover gear. What else? Witch King. Sauron. Uh, who was my third commander in that formation? Was it Saruman? Wait, wait, wait. Who did I include here? Kestaro. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot about Kestaro. That doesn't work. Kes, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to take away your gear. And Witch King, back. The gear needs to go back to you. And it's really my Sauron who lacks the gear then. Uh huh. Okay, so in my second formation right now, Kestaro is still in sight. I forgot about that. Um, Kestaro is just dealing my highest amount of focus damage, which is why I have to give him my best focus gear. That is leaving my Witch King with my second best focus gear. And my Sauron needs to get the leftover gear. I could give him... The Reach of the Ritter Mark, it has focus as well. You will receive Berserker's Raymond. Since I'm dying, is just chilling right now. And yeah, I mean, the Cask of Pride doesn't make any sense, so I have to go with my second best option, which is my Bone Mask for him. And next one is... <laughs> Drums plus 12. Or one of my good old old gear. Yeah. I, I was thinking maybe give Sauron the the drums of Baradur, but he isn't really dealing damage. Right now I have him for the CC procs and the debuffs. So I'm going with the pipe, focus, and some healing.
Now let's do this again. I assume our next fight will be much better. We have fixed the gear. <sighs> Get some grain. Okay, main hall. One minute left. Next one. Let's that, barracks. No, storage. Okay. Okay, so this attack. This attack was much better. Yep, we can live with that. So, the difference, right? Bef this is before we fix the gear. This is after the gear fix. Is Sauron, Witch King, Saruman Lords a good formation? So Sauron is just mandatory, right? Like Witch King. Those two go always good together. Saruman. Now, you have with Sauron, you have the CC and you have the debuff. With Witch King, you have the elemental damage and also some debuffs with strong stuns. Saruman also deals good amount of uh, damage, the focus damage. And you have lords. I feel like there is a tank somehow missing. Saruman is decent, lords is decent as well, but maybe have one one tank in that formation. I'm not sure. Like I was missing a lot. Sauron, Witch King, Saruman, lords sounds nice, but how does it work out? Are you too squishy because you have like I see no tank in that formation? But it may work. Maybe your CC is going to protect you. Maybe the strong debuffs will keep you long enough alive. While Witch King, Saruman, Lords are putting out strong damage. So I like the sound of Sauron, Witch King, Saruman, Lords. Now it needs to be tested. If I was you, and I, I witnessed that... I don't know, like, um, I'm dying a lot. That's when I would consider maybe trying out a tank such as... I'm dying. Oh, wait a second. Uh, how wrong? Witch King with Mountain Trolls. Would that be a tank replacement? The Witch King with Mountain Trolls, would that be a thing? Because... Or would he be too slow? I mean, Witch King is already very fast, right? Is Mountain Trolls making him too slow? I would test that. Witch King wants to go first as well. To have a stun, act before the enemy can act. You want to stop him with a stun. So I gotta definitely test it out later. Saruman. No, actually, let's go into the commanders and have a look. Who has how much initiative? Witch King for sure has a decent amount of initiative. Like, if you had the right gear. My gear right now is all about the troop damage boost, which is a mistake in the past. I wanted to make this guy right now. I want to have him as a focus damage dealer. But he has command gear. He has... Not the best focus gear. 
Let's also check out this R5. When the commander's formation is comprised of two LBs, the initiative of two enemy commanders minus 10. He is making the enemy slower. Next skill, next skill. I want to stun Lord of Nazgul. Lord of West. Yeah, we can we can work with that. Where are my ability points? Ability points. Uh, 20 out of 20. Oh, okay. Where are these points being displayed at the start? Let me check where I can find it. Uh, ability points. User interface. Um, you aren't making this straightforward. So we can't see it in the main hub. Um, I'm gonna have to go into this window, make sure that I started spending. Gosh, I just lost some time. Let's get some stone. Let's break. And now I'm gonna wait. Now I'm gonna see what resources I will need the most. Probably stone. Occupy. Okay, Q is full. Can we conscript more units? Now we have horseman. But they don't have a bonus. But initiative sixteen, defense ten. Who has more HP or is it the same amount of HP? Yeah, horsemen have a bit more HP. We are kind of taking a lot of losses here. What's happening? I know, I know, I need to upgrade my barracks, but why is the game forcing me to go into that window? The relics unlocked at level 20, cool. Commander level up. The game just stops suggesting me to go into my commanders to distribute skill points. Look at that. I also have a few good side commanders. Oh yeah, the event. 
I'm not a fan of these events. It feels like a chore, like a task I need to have done. I don't want to do it, but I have to. some stamina. And we could capture 51 tiles. Wow! I remember that in 1.0 we had so many issues being tile capped very fast, but here that doesn't seem to be the same case. Okay, got enough of that. Let's let let's see, Commanders. I will eventually run out with stamina on my second formation as well. Which other formation will I be rolling? I mean Saruman is still there, waiting. He's eager of receiving the Kestaro gear. And now your tiles just uh, look kind of merged when you have collected more. Okay. Does it does it serve any purpose, or is it just better looking visuals? I assume it's just visual. So there is a meaning behind it. It's uh, within PvP. How so? Like them being connected. Where is the difference compared to the old way? The old way was they weren't connected, but they were kind of like uh, still yours, but this played in another way. It blocks movement for the enemy, but so did the old way, right? You just had it displayed in a different way. Or do you mean like if the enemy was here, he could move over here, but not over here. But that doesn't make any sense. You can just invade it, right? You just fight for it. I didn't understand the blocking. If you move to a tile, be it the enemy's tile or a neutral tile, you are still fighting for it. So blocking would mean that you deny that fighting, but Fighting happens regardless. Uh, next target. Stone, yeah. Stone would be lovely. We have one stone over here. And two over here. And 
the new marching system is selecting the shortest way to the tile of your desire. Okay. It's much more chill to play it that way. Uh, Matai Matthias, what exactly do you mean? They won't reach the one tile, have to go 50. What exactly do you mean? It blocks movement for the enemy. I guess I will find out as soon as PvP starts. Okay, while the Witch King is marching, how about we take care of the grind? I'm not a big fan of these events. They are chores. Mariadog, Randybook, the Peregrine Turk, blah blah blah. What a surprise to find you here. Gandalf, we are on our way to the Elven Festival of Renewal over in Rivendell. Gathering gifts as we go. Well now, a journey to Rivendell. I believe I can contribute to your collection, but first, let's test your knowledge of Middle-earth. Which of the three peoples are renowned for their craftsmanship in mining and metalwork? Well, obviously, I think we all know the answer. Who are the ancient guardians of the forests known for their great stature and wisdom? Well, it's the ants, right? In the Fangorn forest, we only have male ants left because at some point the female ants decided to migrate to another location which was much closer to Mordor and there they started building a garden. The male ants didn't want that garden, which is why, why the, the, the female ants just moved away. That explains why we don't see any female ants in Fangorn anymore. And by the way, Sauron burnt all of those female ants. It is what it is. There was a war and Sauron decided that it would be a smart move to burn the trees while fighting a lot of good side troops, like killing them in the process. It goes hand in hand. Burning the forest goes hand in hand with fighting back the good side forces. Who celebrated for their love of tranquility and their unique homes in Middle-earth. I think that's the Hobbits! Easy. Next one. Pony upkeep. It is a puzzle. Uh -huh. This is a no-brainer, right? <laughs> like, oh, oh, how tricky is that? There we go. Fishing quest. Uh, let, let me check on my Witch King. Let's make sure we are building and conscripting. Next 
next target. We want stone. Occupy. And I think I am getting close to my max range. Because here I see fog. How's range being defined? Like here in the minimap, we see, okay, that's the range. Oh no, okay, I got quite some range left. And go all the way over here. Hello, Francis, man. This is my fellowship leader. Yeah? Such a great guy. And it's good to know that he is close by. Okay, stamina is empty now. How can I stop my reinforcement? Uh, how much stamina do I have left on? Estaro, empty. Witch King can still go. Um, At this point, I can just pass over the Kestaro gear to Saruman. Continue the job. Saruman appreciates it. Now, let's see. If I was to main Saruman, my skill distribution, let's see. Let's focus damage, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Chance to take madness, great. That's that's lovely. Chances to come to madness for one round. Damage received by two allies. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not as important as his R3, that's for sure. Same order. Yeah. Um. Falling victim to madness, a probability of 25%. Uh, so it's gonna happen. Do I want that to happen? Mm. I th Not at the start. If I have enough points to give this uh, enough points all the way up to level 5, then I would have it in my skill set. But not at the start. At the start, I want Voice of Saruman. Of many colors. Attack and defense on all elements. Command stat. Three allied formations benefit from this. Hmm. I could be playing him in a command. I have somehow command gear on my Witch King, which I could give him here, but. I like the focus build right now and I want Voice of Saruman at level 5 to get the Madness chance of many colors and I also want this unlocked ASAP we are getting there If this is my mini Saruman, the free-to-play version Saruman. Witch King, let's send you back, buddy. Yeah, we need more horsemen. Let's finish this one. Why is it okay?
any speed up item no only 13 minutes i don't want to waste that let's wait we have to wait and meanwhile replace our army then We said Sauron is good to go. Witch King is good to go. Wait a second, which of these guys have more has more HP right now? Because that's the commander I would like to make the leading commander. Sauron 3k-ish. Witch King a bit more. Oh, it, it is the Witch King. He has the most. And he also has command, so he is the most toughest commander for me in that formation. Cool. Now. Let's make the Witch King the leader. His Lord is standing right behind him, being bodyguarded by the Witch King. Yeah. Oh, 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 I also have a Lord's. Was he at spec level 10? I think that's pretty decent. He could also fit in. But my gear, right? It's coming down to my gear. I would need to swap my shadow gear. Yeah. Shadow gear goes to Lord's. Okay, that's the solution. Now, I have lots of militia left. Okay. Now I have to get my lords ready, right? Commander. Let's check the skill order. Great damage dealer, that is for sure. Additional damage while... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any, any buffs? Any buffs within the skills? Any skill order sensitive buffs? It's an additional physical damage while attacking. No, not like Castaro. So he doesn't really have anything sensitive. Okay. Okay, first one can receive one point, pursuer can run. And then I would actually love to max this one out. At level five, increase the damage instances. We have here. It's an additional 100% physical damage once while attacking. So that too is a nice boost. The side effect boost. But man, damage increases with each attack? That too sounds interesting. I just don't know for how much. Which is why... I'm gonna go with Pursuer level 5. Yeah, that's my Lord. That's my boy. Shadow. Give the gear. And this gear goes so well with Lords. Yeah. I also like that he has Perseverance, because Lourdes, right, he starts to attack later. Round 3 is his first big hitting attack, and this big hitting attack gets stronger because of the mechanic in his level 10 here, right? So I, I like that special effect on him. Now let's test this guy, come on! Level 12, maybe that's too high? Is it? Fortified? No, he sh it should be manageable. And as I see, we are almost at the two hour mark. 
I know. We had a bit of fun at the start, but um, Ezra needs to get some real life stuff done. So after five minutes, unfortunately, I have to say goodbye for the time being, preparing some next content. Who knows what? It could be a Wish King guide. It could be another live stream. We will see. But I gotta admit, the new way of leveling is much less stress-free. I like that we don't have to tile. And... I haven't done the spying right now, you know, like people were scouting tiles and see who is inside there, who is dangerous. Probably people are still doing it, but against who? Who would be a target being avoided? Is it Azru Core because of the CC? Does he still have? No. Does he? How much does that has a chance? So that's not really something I fear. Deals damage, physical damage, some buffs. Wait a second, didn't Azru Core support a fire damage playstyle? Did they change something? Oh no, this this is another Azru Core. Yeah, that's a, that's a PvE Azru Core. Basically, it's not even Azru Core, it's just a guy who looks like Azru Core, but different color patterns. So... Kaldun skill, Survivor, Marshall... You see, like, these aren't the skills of a normal Khaldun. This is just a random PvE guy. <sighs> what about my ring? We still got some points. At level 10, we get more tiles. Complete construction is not even required for that No, we will not waste ability points into this. I guess if I if I was to go this route, I would just waste one point. I already did it with invigoration. I will not do it again. I will hold on to my points so I can dump them all into enormous power once I reach level 10. So lesson learned. The invigoration was a mistake. I just lost one point. I know this is just min-maxing talk. But this is what, what's going on in my brain right now. The min-maxing min talk, basically. This looks fine. Okay, level fives are unlocked. Do I want more level level ten out of this? No. But I definitely want the level ten effect from here. So there we go. Did we also receive some graphic updates? Because this looks much cleaner than before. More resolution, for sure. Shall we go against this one? What does the scouter say? Are we ready to take it? 
It says we can take it. Is it still a thing to barely have troops on commanders that they do the tiles nearly alone? That they tank with minimal losses? Oh, you mean with the HP bars of the commanders themselves? I have heard about it. But I don't know if that is still a thing. So people, guys, if you do know, let us know. Good old Ezra needs to catch up to standards as well. That is a smart thing to do, right? Like, look at this. So much HP, but lots of damage was being tanked by the units. So it makes sense to lower the number of the units just to have the, the commanders take the hits. So that way you preserve resources. Yes, it's still a thing, but you do need a good dying Bayarn. Ah, so only the strong commanders can work with that. But what about a bursty evil side comp, right? Like the Witch King with the Nazgul skill, Undying with his R3, Shadow with his R5 burst. Wouldn't that work too, Samuel? Level up. Lovely. And I wish I could just ascend my lords. I'm waiting for it, man. That... That commander is waiting a long time for it. But we lack the resources. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day in a short moment. Let's just um, quickly collect our reward. Uh, Mephims. No, I definitely want this one. Inspect. Then. Oh. Already finished that one. And yeah, guys, I think that's a good point to call it a day. We had some fun. We, I found out some new mechanics, which I wasn't familiar with yet. Like the new, new tiling system. It was a great experience. Uh, I gotta get used to the new interface, I gotta admit. But yeah, I'll try to be as fast. I'll try to catch up as fast as I can being up to speed with you guys. But that's it for today. And I thank you all for being here. Ezra is going to go out now. I wish you all a great time and see you next time.